This is Mount Batten Square, Windsor, where I'm staying for three nights. And uh, it's a rather gloomy warm morning, I'm afraid. Uh, and, uh, I brought the Welsh weather down with me. This is Windsor Royal Shopping. There's the travel lodge. There's the Waitrose Supermarket. And uh, here's the uh, converted railway station. Now, it still is a rail, st uh, still is a railway station, but it's been converted into a well uh, to cater for all the uh, hundreds of thousands of tourists that come here. Okay, I'm still in this extensive Royal Windsor shopping area, and uh, I think these these arcades were built in Victorian times. I don't know, uh, probably all connected with the Royal. Uh, there's the castle, right? Yes, yeah, so I was uh, had to ser service the Queen, right, and uh, the Queen Victoria. Just just got off the train at Datchet uh, for a short walk back to Windsor along the the bank of the river, the Thames. And, you, and just still, uh, I'm afraid uh, it's not uh, not the most inspiring of weather. But over there uh, is uh, Windsor Home Park. It's it's not open to the public. Ah, there's the <laughs> empty, the sightseeing bus. Fortunately, I missed the footpath for the Thames, the Thames footpath somewhere, and I'm walking along this rather busy main road, which wasn't what, <laughs> what I planned to do. Gloomier and gloomier. That's the weather's getting. Not, not exactly holiday weather at all. The only thing you can say for it, there's not much wind, or very little wind. There's, uh, I'm in Her Majesty's home park, Royal Windsor home park, but I'm on a, on a right away. There's the, the bridge going towards Datchet. But there's no access from the bridge down to the walk, so on the side of the Thames. So it's been a bit of a, a bit of a, 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 well, a bit of a shambles, really. But I think it should be all right from now on. Rain's tipping it down right now, so uh, I'm going to do this kind of maple tree. But uh, of course, I have got this place to myself with the weather conditions being as they are. <laughs> and there's the river <laughs> Thames there. Uh, okay, carry on. This holiday away from the Welsh weather has turned into, as I say, <laughs> a shambles. And. Uh, I brought the weather down with me. Okay, I'm, I'm out the rain at least. I'm under the railway bridge, crossing the, the Thames from uh, the, 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 well, the railway line that runs from Windsor to Waterloo. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to. Uh, my trousers are already rather wet, but I'll put my leggings on all the same. the entrance to Windsor Castle. I'm just catching up with a guided tour here. There's only a small party. <laughs> Visit w Windsor Castle, this is the time to do it. Now, just after a heavy rain, no problem getting in, no queues or anything. There was a security check though, which, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's a bit of a well, usual rigmarole. Yeah, this is, of course, not an original. That uh, most of this is not an original medieval castle. It was constructed in the 18th century mainly. so far going into the the main entrance of the defended castle murder holes okay this is uh, where her majesty resides the state 
apartments. Right, I'll just catch up with the group again. Sentry on duty. This is what castles would probably look like if they were still intact throughout the country, but most of them have been destroyed. This castle, under royal patronage, has been uh, preserved. Well worth visiting. Visit uh, St George's Chapel, where uh, many kings and note very uh, buried. Chapel this way. There's the exit over there. One last look at Windsor Castle before I head for the exit, and uh, I just have a uh, well. I don't want to take one eye on his face, but I'll take one look at the sentry on duty. students were allowed 
to attend, provided that they paid fees and lived in the town outside of the age buildings. These students became known as Oppidans, from the Latin word Oppidan, meaning town. In fact, in those days, the boys were required to speak Latin at all times, risking punishment if they failed to do so. To this day, the college at any time has 70 keen scholars, as they are known, who are with their origins. There are also music, foundation, and sixth book scholarships, meaning that at any time, around 20% of the boys were subject to reduced fees, and in some cases, no fees at all. The college, in fact, states that no parent with a talented boy should feel in the year 1066. The proximity to the River Thames was no doubt the prime reason for choosing this location, the waterway being the main highway to London in the east. After the Northern Conquest, William built a ring of fortresses within one day's march of London, of which winter is undoubtedly the finest. In addition, the extensive winter forest offered excellent hunting, and William chose to live there. The river boats. I just took the 40 minute trip in this one here and uh, it wasn't too bad really but I had almost had the boat completely to myself so I'm going to walk down here now for about half a mile or so to see a replica Hawker Hurricane or a, I think it's a Hurricane or a Spitfire and as you can see in the winds of gloom of the Thames but look at these countless uh, birds, swans and all, all ducks and pigeons, Canada geese, and of course that's what they're looking for. Yeah, that's uh, numbers of them. Okay, that's that's what I came down to see. Uh, maybe a third of a mile down this river is that replica uh, Hawker Hurricane yeah. information on the Hawker Hurricane railway bridge crossing the Thames on its way to Paddington there's the viaduct, an interesting viaduct. Here's this uh, viaduct. Yeah, an interesting oh, Victorian structure again. Look at that, look at all those numbers of arches. <laughs> and of course the, the big car park running next to it. So, I'll walk alongside here and back to the town.